You know, I wasn't going to speak on this topic because when I first heard about it, it kind of pissed me off. But um, I had one of my subscribers, a uh, white guy, get in my mail. He wanted to know what I thought about President Obama um, supporting illegal immigrants. And, um, you know, I, I, when I thought about it, 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 when he wrote me, him being a white guy, and him explaining, you know, how he felt about it, which is pretty much the same way I felt about it, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to do a video on this. And, um, you know, I follow politics. I, I listen to what a lot of these cats say, and, 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 you know, I watch CNN, I read, I follow politics. I know some of y'all can give two rats ass about politics and shit, but, you know, I'm concerned about my future in this country. I'm concerned about my children's future. I'm concerned about uh, the black community's future. I'm concerned about this country as a whole and, and, and where it's going. And, you know, I, I sat down today, you know, came on from work, and I was like, you know, let me put it on CNN, you know, see what these cats talking about. I see Obama on there, you know, talking about uh, how he supports uh, uh, legal immigrants and, you know, going on and on. I said, ain't this about a bitch. Now, just like I've said in, in my personal life and in previous videos, Obama continuously ducks black issues. This motherfucker is like Floyd Mayweather and shit. Every time he throw a black issue, at, oh, you know, he goes around, you know, he's, he'll say like a, a universal answer. Look, it comes a time when you got to keep that shit real. You can't always be a sambo and, and, and tap dance for these white people. You got to keep shit real. And it pisses me off how, you know, black folks were the main ones that put this guy in office. You know, you got people who... Didn't give two shits about voting. Never voted in their life. But they went out and they stood in line to vote for this man. You know, I remember I stood in line for two, two and a half hours to vote. And, you know, it seems like no matter what we bring to the table, we ask this guy and we hope that he will stand up and be a, not just a black man, but just a, a man of character. Every time... We address him with black issues and people ask him, you know, what about this or what about the black community? He ducks around it. You know, it seems like everybody gets what the fuck they want in this country except African Americans. And, you know, it's, it's a damn shame. It really is. Now, you can go out and you can support the gay community. You can support the war on terrorism. You can support... Illegal immigration, but when they ask you about um, black men being the high majority of, of of people who are incarcerated, or African Americans getting you know a, a higher sentences than what a white person would do that has three priors or three strikes, you have nothing to say. When they ask you about the Trayvon Martin case, what did he say on that? Oh well, you know. I'm letting the investigation go on and, you know, blah, 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 but Trayvon Martin, if I had a son, he looks like me. Get the fuck out of here. Of course he looks like you, motherfucker. You black. But you didn't say what needs to be said. You didn't say that Zimmerman's monkey ass was racially profiling Trayvon Martin and killed this young man for no reason. For walking to a relative's house buying his own business and you and this asshole decided to go over there and fuck with him. You didn't say that. And this shit really pisses me off because it's like, you know, when would this guy stand up for his own people? And I know, you know, he's biracial and all that shit, but come on. This motherfucker looks black. He gets on TV, sings Al Green. He speaks on uh, Lil Wayne and Jay-Z and shit, but you won't speak on the shit that we need you to speak on. When it comes to the black community, you hide. You go in the cave. And I know some, uh, you know, white people, or just black people too, they'll say, well, you know, Obama, he's not supposed to just represent black people. He's representing America. But the thing is, is that that might be true. But why is it that everybody else issue gets talked about? You remember that Coney 2012 bullshit? I have posts... You know, uh, um, um, a post on Facebook, and I said that 
all this shit is just, you know, a reason for them to go over there and make some type of money. And either it's by oil or it's by corrupting their people. It, it's some type of way to make money. And I didn't support it. I thought it was bullshit. I got a lot of people that went at my head. People I work with, people who are just, you know, my associates on Facebook or whatever. I got a lot of people who went at my head. And sure enough, about a month later, what did we find out? We found out that the asshole that started that whole movement was a goddamn nutcase. You saw him on the corner naked and shit. But I, I'm I'm the crazy one. I'm the one that that's you know just being a hater and you know I just I don't support shit. No, it's not that. It's just I recognize bullshit. I smell bullshit a mile away. But see, it took everybody else a couple of weeks, some some of y'all even months before you got on to what really was going on. I told you they were trying to go over there and get oil so they can get money. But I'm not gonna get into that, you know that that's a, that's a whole different ball game. But you know Obama, when it comes to me voting for this guy, I really don't I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it because he continuously ducks the black issues, and if, and if to put him in office for another four years just for him to tap dance for these white people, or you know stay in his little comfort boundary, I'm not supporting him. I don't need you to wait until your second term and say, oh, well, I can't get a third term, so now I'm going to talk about the black community. No, motherfucker, you talk about it now. That's what we put you in office for, to talk about not just America's issue, but talk about the black community's issue. You talk about the Hispanic people's issues. You talk about illegal immigration. You talk about jobs and everything else that's going down the list, and that's fucked up in this country. And it's stuff like this that just it irritates me. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't give a damn about, you know, what I'm saying. You know, as long as y'all get money, you know, get the new Lil Wayne album and all that other bullshit that really don't mean nothing. That's all y'all care about. But you got to think about this stuff. This stuff affects everybody. And it seems like, you know, black people always get put under the rug. You know, they we don't get any respect in this country. Every time we try to come up too stuff, they knock us right the fuck back down. Y'all better think about this. You better wake up, you know, start, you know, thinking about your future. Start thinking about the, the where this, this country is going. Because this stuff affects everybody. But, you know, to President Obama, you know, I, I doubt he hears this video. Uh, who knows, you know, it's a lot of white people who listen to me. It's a lot of people who, you know, probably work for him that listen to these YouTube videos. But you need to get your shit together. Stop ducking and dodging the black people's issues. We getting tired of your ass with that shit. But if y'all want to check out an article on, you know, the whole thing that went down and everything, it'll be in the um the description box. Y'all can read up on it. And um that's pretty much all I gotta say. You need to get your shit together, man. We tired of your ass ducking the black community's issues. But you want to bang on old boy. I saw him in a, in a uh, um, press conference earlier. You want to bang on a dude for asking a question before you got done speaking. You want to be a uh, Tupac and a thug and shit on him. Won't you be a thug against the powers of being all these public policies that are going against African Americans in this country? And I say African Americans for a reason. Although I shouldn't because we're really not a part of America when you really think about it. But I'm out, y'all. Y'all comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And wake the fuck up. Peace.